Hey, welcome to visuals again. We're going to move right along and do a second tutorial here on the particle field effect. Um, so let's add some media. We're going to add this falling astronaut clip, which is perfect for the particle field effect. As of now in the app, it's pretty much a star field. There's three different color properties. Um, you can assign their values independently, get a different effect, or click rainbow, and it'll automatically assign random colors to each particle. Um, rotation rotates each individual particle. You can see that better when you turn up the size. It's a little festive. I'll go ahead and set all these back. Just clear all the effects. Um, you can change the blending mode, which has a different effect on the video. It's overlaying. And then one of the cool features is the warp speed, which will move you through the particles. I'll decrease the size again. So there you go. Um, one little pro tip is if you combine the particle effect with the trails, that's pretty cool. Personally, I like triangles. Currently, the particle effect doesn't have any audio reactive properties, but it's really new, and we just built that out and added it in to, I believe, version 2.2.1. Expect a lot more from the particle field effect in the future. We can demonstrate a couple other ways that this is used. So just a couple other examples. Sometimes the anti-aliasing effect will work well with the particle field. As you can see there, it cleans it up a lot. Also, the mirror effect works well with the particle effect. That just looks sweet. So you can see how, with just a few little modifications, some simple particles add a lot of character to your set. Would you look at that? Who would have thunk? And that is the particle field effect.